Hey, what's going on? Josh French, director of Cokesbury Students, and this is Asking for a Friend, the YouTube edition. You submitted so many questions, we couldn't get to them all in the room, so here they are. And my friends and yours are here to answer your much anticipated and highly asked questions. Like Manapru Sheltham, Joshua Stuckey, Anna Lee, they're all here just for you. Now look, some of these videos are a little bit longer than your attention span might be, so the questions are in the description. Fast forward to the ones that you're interested in. Hey, we're glad you're here. Thanks for asking, and we'll see you soon. Hey everyone, my name is Joshua, and welcome to the Asking for a Friend 56 edition. And today, I have Mana here with me. Say hi, Mana. Hi, Mana. <laughs> so we are gonna keep we are gonna keep asking some questions and doing our best to answer them. So uh, let's see, Mana. I got an important one here for you. Are you ready? Yes, but it's deep. It's 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 life changing. Okay. Do you like pickles? And there is a right answer to this. <laughs> uh. Pickles are sort of a, if I'm in the mood, I will eat a pickle. Interesting, or, like, interesting. I sometimes like fried pickles. Okay. I like them when there's more fried than pickles. Yes, and yes. And there's a good dip to go with them. Yeah. So I can do that. Mm -hmm. I can do pickles on a Chick-fil-A sandwich, but I remove said pickles prior to eating the sandwich. Yeah. I like that little bit Just of Just a little bit of the pickle flavor. juice, yeah. A little bit. My mother drinks pickle juice sometimes. Oh, that's disgusting. That, <laughs> that is disgusting. Me. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Um, so that is just disturbing. To I'm me, sorry, that's messed me up. That's disgusting. Medical, I hear there's some medical benefits I bet to she that. Never has a cramp. Ever. Yo, oh, no, her. Yeah, she's probably she's, like as healthy as could be because. No, of I don't that. think she does it daily, but she will eat, drink, drink pickle juice. She if you learn anything juice. from this video, drink pickle juice. That's what it is. Yeah, have fun with that. One. All right. <laughs> well, how about just a light one to start us off for you as well? All right, all right. Um, not that pickles were light, but mm -hmm, you know. mm -hmm. who is your favorite celebrity? Can't oh. be Travis Kelsey or Taylor Swift. Oh, good, good, because it was neither of those, Sorry. and I'm willing to bet actually most of the 56ers don't even know who this is, and it's my boy Patrick Swayze from Dirty Dancing, Roadhouse, Red Dawn. Uh, what what's another movie that the he's surfing in? The, the surfing one. The surfing one. Point Break. 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 Yeah, yeah, Point Break. Like, I mean, he's just 10 out of 10 in everything he does. Isn't he like in Tu Wong Fu? I don't even know Thanks what that is. for everything. Uh, so, maybe. Some oh, sort of 80s movie Ghost. Like that. That's another one. That Makes is me a cry. Classic. Makes me cry every time. It, it's a comedy. I think it's hilarious. It's hilarious, but it also makes me it cry okay, every true. time. All right, so a little more serious. Okay. Okay. Is God good? Ooh, is God good? Uh, yes, God is good. He is a good God. Um, I don't think that he is unfair. Um, he is not like what I, what I talk about a lot in person of, I don't view him as that mean kid. Like who has the magnifying glass with the ant hill, you know, just looking down, seeing all the bad stuff happening. I think he is a good God. He wants to be in a relationship. He wants to know us and he wants, um, he wants good for us and for the world. Mm -hmm. So, and I think the big question comes in that in our human brains, mm -hmm. we can't always understand why things happen. Yes. And so, while we may not see it as good, mm -hmm. we can trust that whatever is happening, mm -hmm. God will make. Good Absolutely. Again. So. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's a tough question, but yeah. also. A very specific answer. Mm -hmm. True, true. Yeah. Um, and then I think just because we are in Christmas time, and let's just make it a little bit silly here too, there's also another right answer to this one. What is your favorite Christmas movie, Mana? Those are very difficult to narrow down. Oh, yeah. There are oh, yeah. some very classic, fabulous mm -hmm. Christmas movies. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of my favorites that is kind of off, not in the typical realm, would be a movie called The Holiday. Um, Wait, which is, is that with Cameron Diaz and it Jude is, Law? It's yeah, Jack Black. Jack, yes, it does. So it great. does. Yeah. Um, but while well, a lot of people will say Elf and National Lampoons mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. pretty sure I'm gonna have to go Home Alone. Ooh, yeah. I That's love Home Alone one or two. I like both of them. Okay. But they're basically the exact same story. Oh yeah, pretty so, much. Yeah. But one involves I a toy just, store. One involves a house. I just That's it. love no. Wait. One is a house. And one is, well, one, one, home yeah. Lost exactly. Oh yeah, that's you know, yeah. Yeah. Well. But yeah. Uh, classic. Do you have one? You said there was a. I. It's Elf all the way. Elf. Yeah. yeah. Must be. All right. Taking it back to super serious. 
Why do bad things happen to good people, Joshua? Mm, that is a very good question. And I think it goes back to what we were talking about too, is God good? While we do believe that God is good, bad things do happen in the world. And I believe that is because in the beginning of time and creation, when sin entered the world, um, that is just the cause of everything that is bad. I do not believe that God sends bad things to happen. So for example, there are people who, um, like for me, I lost my grandfather when I was younger. Um, and when I was younger, I'd be like, God, I believe in you. Why is this bad thing happening to me? And as I've gotten older, um, realizing that loss and um, hardship, that's just a part of life, but that is not from God. It just happens. And if we know that God is good and we believe in God, we believe in Jesus, we know that he is present in those bad times mm -hmm. um, and present in the family situations and everything like that. And can use them for good. Absolutely. And we learn lessons that allow mm -hmm. us to be more compassionate, mm -hmm. more, um, mm -hmm. help others or that sort of thing. So yeah. I think that's yeah. Absolutely. It's true. Um, I got another good serious one for you here, and this is like actually serious, not just me being funny. Um, do prayers have to be out loud? No, they do not I have agree. to be out loud. Um, prayer is simply communicating with God. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're in a relationship with another person, yes, you mm -hmm. have to communi communicate out loud. Mm -hmm. But the great thing about God is he already knows. Absolutely. He knows what's in your brain. He knows what's going on. He just wants you to communicate with him in some shape, form, or fashion. Absolutely. And so if you are in your car driving down the road and you want to pray out loud, do it. If mm -hmm. you want to pray silently, do it. Absolutely. As long as you're communicating with God, I really don't know that he has a preference. Yeah, he I agree with that. He just wants that relationship with you. Absolutely. And so you pray however you need to pray to make that relationship with God yeah. your own. Absolutely. I would agree with that. We hope you enjoyed 56 edition of Asking for a Friend. And hey, you can always ask us questions. It doesn't have to be just during Asking for a Friend. We are here for you.